After 10 days, 30 challenges, a broken bone, one detour to the snow and way too many beers, 15 of our 16 surfers made it to the last day. After kicking it off at Duran Bar, the very tip of New South Wales, our four teams ended their journey in Austinmere, 875 kilometres or 544 miles south of where they started. He's still on the job, yeah, wrap it up. We made it, <laughs> we survived, we we're alive. <laughs> Are you alive? No. <laughs> With all our teams in the same town for the first time since day one, we gathered everyone together to swap stories, review some footage, and hand out $10,000 and five bonus points to the winner of the Monster Air. There were two airs done by, I think, Noah and Kobe on the first day at Deba that were pretty sick. Yeah, somehow I got this one really crazy section and um, got one that actually looks all right. Like, I reckon it's pretty sweet. That could have been anyone's man. Honestly, I reckon it would have been Reefs if he had like good waves, 100%. It was tough, the whole trip, the waves just weren't that great for airs. Kobe got one air, big straighty. Could maybe win, but possibly not. Who fucking knows? I'm sort of confident just because the waves have been so average and I think I got a pretty good one. But at the same time, like I don't know what's happened today and, and you never know what the other teams have been doing. Kobe's getting it. Go Kobe. <laughs> he probably won't get it, but go Kobe. We ready for this? This is 10 G's on the line. The first place was Kobe's huge big straighty. Yeah. really cool to see like how much it meant to him and how badly he wanted it. That was a high point just to see him go out and try so hard to get it. For me like being on the CT I see people winning like thousands of dollars not even making a heat. But for guys like Kobe this is really important for him to like come to this trip and try really hard to get this prize. 100% I was that was what I wanted. I, that's why I'm here. That's what I wanted to do. So to see him win and he was like in my team was really really special and really cool. I just didn't want to make myself look shit. I got all the big dogs here, like I need to land something. Like I don't I didn't care about the money or anything, I just wanted to make sure I landed something. For Kobe to slot in there against the likes of Chipper, Noah and all those guys and stomp the biggest air, how sick. And uh, who knows what that'll do for his surfing and, and where he'll, he'll go from here, but it'll definitely throw him on the map. It's a law of attraction, man. If you want something, you can you just gotta do it. With all the challenges judged, scores tallied and five Monster Air bonus points added, Team Macy still came in last place just behind Team Pasha. But an impressive total given they'd been a team member down since day two. As for the grand prize, an exclusive surf film created by Kai Neville starring the winning team. As this series went to air, like you, the audience, the competitors have been completely in the dark as to who would be victorious. To orchestrate a surprise unveiling, we tricked the winning team into visiting Stab's Australian office under the guise that they would need to complete one final interview for the show. It's here we deliver the news and the trophies. Hey! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, First shit. ever Stab Highway <laughs> presented by Moss Energy winners, Team Delisa. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, Jaleesa Vincent, Sean Manners, Wade Goodall and Noah Dean on taking out the win. In the end, Team Jaleesa finished 11 points clear of Team Holly with an overall total of 95 points. Yeah, it feels yeah. cool. Yeah, it's done Didn't now. Didn't do all that fuck shit for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I knew we had a good team. Like, as soon as Jaleesa picked us, I was like, feeling so good. Yeah, we had, we're going to have fun no matter what. Eh? Yeah, we're definitely going to do everything and have fun doing it. Chicky! <laughs> We've had a blowout, but it's been good. I think it was just like the funnest thing ever. Ten days definitely was starting to fucking push the limits of life on the road. Everyone's definitely ready to go home and get some sleep, that's for sure. 
Yeah, definitely everyone just got um, like turned into empty shells. That was the worst 10 days of my life. <laughs> yeah, we were on a holiday for 10 days. I don't know about all the other teams. They all seem weathered. We look good. <laughs> I'm pretty busted up, actually. <laughs> I'm sore. I've actually been having a bit of a wave of fear run through me thinking about next year's Stab Highway, if, if that's a thing. I'd love to do it again. Shit, yeah. yeah. As long as it's once a year and not twice a year, I could prep myself pretty well, I reckon. The thought of doing it again right now makes me want to cry. <laughs> In a year's time, I'll probably forget and then say, do it again. No, I reckon I need a year break. <laughs> I would never do this trip again. No way. I can't believe I'm 34 and I did this. Fuck yeah, 100%. Yeah, I'd love to do this trip again. Like even twice a year, you know? 100% best trip I've ever been on. Absolutely, it's, this has been a trip of lifetime and it'd be silly to not go again. All in all, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm really proud of my team um, and thanks for watching and I'm just apologise to my mum my and my dad and, and anyone that I'm related to and anyone that's had an inch of respect for me. Um, I just genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, apologise. But, you know, you try and suck piss every day for 10 days and do this book of challenges. Like, you go out and try and give it a crack, all right? So, this is Harry Bryant here, signing off for Stab Highway 2021. I'll fucking see you next year. Done. We're done. Every challenge ticked off. Barely walk up the beach then. Oh, yeah, we're done. Well done. Well done. This one's for the sunny coast. Stab Highway has roasted my soul. Stab Highway has roasted us all.